like that. Oh! I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I think Bo Jax is gonna be my guy. Great blocking! Oh my god! Crooked! It's been I'm going highball Hawkins shit! That I will get a reward! Ooh, Patrick Mahomes and the missus! I will not stop in the middle of the process! I will not I need Patrick Mahomes, actually. Matt, you fraud! That happens in my life! Katie, we're just gonna fucking me. drill this. You will not stop me. You 34 yard field goal from Silver Katie York. You will not defeat me. We've got to end up down the middle. The only way I lose is if I quit. Mine! Mine! It's going to be a dog fight. Let's go! What are you doing? You can't go that. I hate those girls, bro. The only way I lose is if I quit. Oh my god, did I just shake that? season off crazy hot with two awesome wins which is why our team looks so good but this last game i got completely exposed i played a full bread god squad who ran all the meta plays all the shit that you see the pros run he ran and i lost 43 to 7 i got ran over also if you need madden coins make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com you can buy coins or players i recommend buying players it's the safest method you're gonna get a way better deal than what ea would offer you and my code mmg G can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. Now, I don't expect to play a meta cheeser every single game, but guess what? It only takes one in the playoffs to knock me back to here because right now, if I played a player like that, I have no chance of beating this. So what do we need to do from now until the playoffs to be ready to beat someone like that? Number one, I think I need edge protector on both my tackles. Now, neither of my tackles have it right now because neither of them can get it, and that was a huge problem in the last game. Malik Willis was feeling the heat, got sacked a bunch of times and the edge threat elites and under pressures or making him throw bad balls which is also why you need fearless on your quarterback but Malik Willis can't get that either so to counter that I'm gonna need some high level tackles and a higher level quarterback now the next thing you need to beat that man coverage is you need to be able to give all of your wide receivers and tight ends a different combinations of routes to beat the man coverage without hot route master I can't do that the only person I was able to give routes to was TJ Hawkinson so he was shading outside covering the corner route and I couldn't really do anything else Additionally, running stretch, getting outside of those nickel blitzes is a really good idea, but my offensive line was not strong enough to handle it. Jason Kelsey is great. I love him. But Donovan Smith going up against 98 overall Nick Bosa, he kind of got shit on. So that's something I can do to get a little bit better myself. Now, defensively, where I made some mistakes was my user was not fast enough to keep up with those top tier players. I had a very close knee interception, but I just couldn't quite get there. And I think if I had a faster MLB one, I would be able to. I think my D-line did an all right job. I wouldn't discredit them. I think my corners did an all right job, but I'm going to have to clear up all of those holes because if I play another guy like that, I have to be able to beat him. It's not an option. If I played that guy in the Super Bowl, I have to be able to beat him. I don't get a do-over. So we're going to take that win last game as a lesson. I did take an L, but L is the first letter in lesson. It's time to get good, kid. We got to be ready. So that being said, let's move into today's episode with all of that in mind. Let's not get any positions that aren't super fluff unnecessary. Hey, giddy up, baby. Because it's the redemption season. I don't have room for any more losses. Let's see what our first... Ooh, I love this one. I think last time I had rerolled till 90 plus, or was it 92 plus? I don't remember, but this is one of my favorite ones on here. Because I love doing rerolls. We can choose a reroll and keep rerolling it until we get a 92 overall player or better. So for my reroll, I could choose any of them. But I'm actually going to do the Gridiron Guardian Volume 2 player. These Gridiron Guardian players are nasty. They have really good stats. So I'm hoping I can get a 92 plus here. And it'll be a good one. So first one is Gerard Davis. We keep going until we get a 92 overall. Better. That's Von Jefferson. DJ Humphreys. Oh! 
This Derek Stingley is so good. I only feel bad because I have too many corners now. Unless technically one of these dudes could play safety. Daniel Sorensen is my free safety right now, but I could be convinced to move him. So our 92 plus is Derek Stingley. Let's go see how we use this. Here's actually what we'll do because we run a lot of nickel where we actually use that like Tyson Anderson. So Derek Stingley is going to become CB3. He's the starter. He also has baked in pick artist, which is really nice. Let me see his other abilities real quick. Do you get any other discounted abilities? You just get free pick artists. Deep out zone is short route. That's it. And then I'm going to put Tariq Woolen as my backup strong safety. I know that sounds weird, but your backup strong safety actually gets used kind of a lot if you run nickel and dime. Stingley pick artist and tip drill on Tariq Woolen. All right, first wheel spin lands us this Derek Stingley. Take a look at the stats on this Derek Stingley, by the way. Fast as hell. Great acceleration. His play rec is boosted for my strategy item. Same with zone and pursuit. Six foot 190. He honestly could just be a little bit taller for the meta, but that's totally fine. All right, first wheel spin is a corner upgrade. Not something I really was thinking about. I'm happy to have him. Let's see if we can actually choose on this next one. Ooh. Overall swap. We will not be adding a player. We will be swapping a player for a different player of the exact same overall. Now, Dalvin Tomlinson. Dalvin Tomlinson is a 92. I could swap him out for another 92. I know what I'm doing. Dude, I I'm telling you, you can't stop how good this card is. Tariq Woolen is a 93 overall. And Tariq Woolen, I'm so happy to have had you on the team. Tariq Woolen, I'm swapping you out. Quick selling you. Because I'm swapping you out for another Harvest player. 93 overall. Isaiah Simmons. I cannot speak any higher of this card. The 93 overall Isaiah Simmons could literally be on any team I've ever had ever. And I would literally... Oh! He's so... So good. 93 speed, six foot four, 92 acceleration, 91 change of direction, 93 hit power. He's a monster size user who can move laterally quickly and he can get crusher. I used to run crusher on him. I swear I used to have him in wheel of mud. For one AP, you grab lurker. I'm also going to give him mid zone KO just in case there's a small scenario where I don't user him. And Isaiah Simmons is our overall swap. Tariq Woolen, thank you for your service. I've appreciated you. Isaiah Simmons is the new MLB one. The third and final wheel spin of today's episode we've added Derek Stingley and Isaiah Simmons lastly we're gonna land on 293 overalls I think I can shore up both of my tackle problems right now and I've got so many 93 overall options I'm gonna start with Colton Miller a 93 overall left tackle as a one AP edge protector so that's our new left tackle 93 overall Jawan Taylor gets a one AP edge protector as well we're in business baby that is a huge upgrade all right let's get these abilities added Colton Miller is first with one AP edge protector. I'm going to take secure protector off of Zion Johnson to be able to afford this. That's easy. He still gets post up and that frees up two AP, which is exactly what we need. All right. Look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players on offense with abilities. I think we're ready for this game. We didn't add as many good players as we did last episode. I think we made more important upgrades. Colton Miller and Juwan Taylor is huge. Isaiah Simmons with Lurker is massive. And then Derek Stingley. I'm excited to see how he plays. A spin on the challenge wheel, of course, would have been clutch last episode, but we didn't get it. Let's see what our challenge wheel lands us with today. Might be the triple crown. It's, ooh. Last time we got this challenge, our opponent rage quit. So I never got to see what we had. But it's crazy hard. 55 plus fantasy points in one player means we are feeding the ball to one dude the entire time. His name is Lurked. Literally, it's Lurked. He's got Jalen Hurts, Gronk, Marquez Valdez, Scantlin. He's got a pick six! I just saw all your God Squad players. I need 55 plus fantasy points with one player. I'm going for two with Bo Jackson. I think Bo Jackson's gonna be my guy. Bradbury, Dawkins, Avante Maddox, Julius Peppers, Grave Digger, Cam Jordan, Alodi Nada, Gardner Johnson, Isaiah Rogers, Carmichael. It's almost like a pseudo Eagles team team. It's almost like you should go outside and fucking touch grass. I'm so sick of playing these teams. For the record, I refuse to touch grass. If anyone wants to ask me to touch grass, the answer is no. Ooh, he's got a touchdown. He had a touchdown, I think. Ooh, nice move. Oh, I knew he was going halfback again. We'll guess pass and just play this straight up. Ooh, a little bit behind that. He saw it. He's got nothing right now. Ooh, steps up with Jalen and slides to avoid the hit. Respect. Smart man. First and 10, he's going to go with a little handoff here and get rocked. I'm sending a heater now. I'm sending a hot one. He's passing. He's going to go Byers. Oh, he doesn't. He's going to go with a quick pass. We're going to go low on the big boy. Oh my God. Valdez scaling is huge. What is this? Ooh, 
we clogged that. Let's go. He got a yard and that's it. Does he keep it with the QB? What's the, what's the deal here? Is this a pass? It is a pass. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that could have been a tip drill. I'm going straight man coverage. Shit! I just got an encroachment. We're with engage eight here. I think he's going to try and throw halfback again. He did. He threw Keith Byers. I, I kind of knew that, but I guessed incorrectly. I guessed he'd throw to work done. Well, we retain a one-point lead, but a nice touchdown. 12 plays, 71 yards, three minutes. Yeah, it was a good drive from him. He's definitely, he's definitely a good player. I mean, his gamer tag is a Madden gamer tag. Well, I haven't seen him play any defense at all yet, so let's see what this looks like. All right, so it was... He shaded outside on everybody. Honestly, just like the last guy. I'm just going to pick up as many yards as I can with Bo Jackson. Going to go right side stretch. Those blocks are impeccable. He didn't have anybody. This is honestly probably the mistake I made last game. I probably should have been running the ball like this last time. Going to cut this one up. He makes a good play with Gardner Johnson. Ooh, torch the user. User couldn't hang. <laughs> We're getting sticky with it right now. Let's go. And everything's going to bow. It's spinner. It's a god squad and it's spinner just like the last guy. But I'm thinking harder this time. And I should have been running the ball a lot more against the last guy. I just, I don't know. I got nervous and I was getting shit on. And sometimes you have a bad game. Second and five. I am going right at the middle. Great blocking! Oh my god! We got met by safety Julius Peppers, but that's first and ten. Go right back at the middle once again. It's first and ten. He sees it. He sent a lot. I go down. He uses another timeout. Second and twelve. Keep it simple. Don't gotta reinvent the wheel. Coach has no field goal? I'm so shocked by that. No, I'm taking my field goal. Katie York, no abilities. You're not Vinatieri. You can still hit a 27-yard field goal. Very proud of you. Ooh, I have to make a substitution on this defense, don't I? A big think and a sack! Hassan Reddick combined with Dalvin Tomlinson, I believe, for that one. Second and ten, I'm going for the same thing. Let's get some more pressure. Ooh, he throws underneath and misses. Goes with the high ball, smart man. He does get the first down out of that. But guess what? That clock is ticking. I expect him to throw Keith Byers. I'm here with Sorensen. He misses another. What's in the duffel bag? He goes Byers, who remains in bounds. That's huge. Hey, he, he hit stuck the first guy real well. Impressive play. But now that clock's ticking. He's not in field goal range yet. Mine! Mine! Somebody! Palomaru, go! Let's go! 21 seconds. I can't... <laughs> Volleyball simulator. Volleyball 23. Bump set interception. I'm throwing Hawkinson over the middle most likely. Nope. Don't need to. Second and two. Hawkinson's there. No, he's not. Matt, you fraud. I have to stop doing that. I keep throwing that. I do not want to get... Oh, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. It's, it's one of them cheesy ass post routes, isn't it? Just get to the QB. I like this. Oh, overthrows everybody. That's half. I didn't get points up on the turnover because I'm homeless, but whatever. I get the ball here. If I can get a touchdown right now, I can win the game. I'm going to go with I form here. I'm just going to go right side and we're going to cut this up. That was quite the dive he made. It, it, it worked very well. Oh, he got... Ah! He dove a little early. Let's go. Bo Jackson runs the first over. Eight rushes, 50 yards for Bo Jackson. Keep it up, baby. Ooh, look who's there. Look who can't throw when there's an ounce of pressure in his face. I'm so over Malik Willis, bro. I'm over him. I'm not giving up on the run. Got to make a big... Oh, no. It's Carmichael. Fuck. You just say we got to break a big tackle, but I can't break it from Carmichael. I'm going to trust Malik Willis to make a big, big throw right here. I'm going high ball Hawkinson. He comes down. Biggest play of the game right there. It's DB Fire 2 press. I think I throw Bo Jackson. Nah, I'll just, I'll just hit a Koye since he just tried to use her the Grave Digger for whatever reason. Oh, the pancakes. The pancakes. That's somebody who passed commit. Second and three. Let's go. Another beautiful run. Maybe. Third and three. Let's go. Stretch Bo. Cut it up the middle. Stuffed. I'm taking my points. Oh my God. Did I just shake that? Oh, I was so worried. 14 to 7. All right, a seven point lead. This is a good ass game right now. I just got him to fumble and he actually picked it up. Honestly, I wouldn't have deserved the ball there anyway. I want to win like a man. I don't want to win off of some nonsense like that. It's going to go with a handoff and Isaiah Simmons is going to light it up the minute he gets it. It's going to go play action. He's got, yep, I was about to say he's got that big hit. Hey, keep lighting him up like that. I'm going to go user this, this out route. 
Oh no, it's not not route. Oh, I can get that. Oh, he underthrew it. He underthrew it by a mile. Oh, oh so close to that. Uh oh, I'm on Dalvin Tomlinson. Not the guy I want to be on. Ooh, nice play. I expect to run here. Yep. Yep. Three timeouts apiece, seven to 14. I'm gonna go blitz Isaiah Simmons. Oh, I'm going to Byers. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Shit. Why was he slowing down? Is he trying to chew clock and score me no time left? Gotta make a monster play here. He is, he's trying to score with no time left. Does he go for two if he does get it? Let's see what he does here. He's got a score still. I think he's gonna run this football with Jalen Hurts. Yep. What's he gonna go for? Oh, he gets it. Okay, nice touchdown. I got 46 seconds and two timeouts and he will take a field goal. I'm surprised he wouldn't go for two here. I figure if you're gonna go all the way down there and then chew the clock, it's cause you wanna win the game right then and there. I'm bringing this bitch out. I want every Hail Mary chance at a touchdown we can get. And that's a hell of a return from Justin Jefferson out to the 31. Make it, you gotta make it a lot easier on Cade York. It's fucking Cade York. First and 10. Hawkinson is open and he does come down with it. First time out, 34 seconds on the clock. So he's in DB fire two press. Does that mean that Jefferson is open? All right, we're taking the check down to Bo Jackson. He switched on to the wrong guy. He's got too many big boys out there. 29 seconds on the 44. We gotta find ourselves in field goal range. I'm going Hawkinson. It's, it's ballsy. I get a flag. What's the flag? Roughing the passer? Roughing the passer? <laughs> you can get that? When, since when could you get roughing the passer? Ball carrier conservative. I might have just won. I would have been on the 33 otherwise. I end up on the 18. So it would have been a 50-yard field goal. I can't hit a 50-yard field goal. So that is huge. I'm gonna take this down in one second. I'm gonna kick my field goal and win the game. I said I never missed an ice kick. Today will not be the day that I miss an iced kick. Woo! 34 yard field goal from Silver Cade York. He's iced. We've got it aimed up down the middle. That's all she fucking wrote. It's down the street. I don't miss ice kicks. Roughing the passer, dude. I need to see the highlight on it. I need to see the highlight on it, bro. Roughing the passer, what? It's so ironic that his name is Lurk. And the reason I won that game is because I lurked him on the first play of the game. And ever since that, I could never turn him over. Now that's lurked, buddy. That right there, that's lurked. Okay, so this was it. This was the roughing the passer. No, this wasn't roughing the passer. This was just a straight laser, man. I just threw a laser beam. Switch on, agate, because you're a genius. We don't get to see the roughing the passer. We take those. <laughs> oh my God, we take those. I'll look at the player stats, but Bo did not have 55 plus. There's absolutely no way Bo had 55 plus. Hawkinson had, yeah, no. It's literally impossible. Bo had a great game though. 13 for 61. He averaged 4.6 yards per carry. That's huge. So he did play really well. I'm, I'm glad for what he did, but we didn't even sniff 55 plus. We played a good defensive game, if anything. An absolutely massive, massive win. No upgrade for Michael Irvin. We moved to three and one, but we do hang on to our edge protector tackles, which is amazing. Our brand new stud, middle linebacker. Or Isaiah Simmons. And we also get to hang out to Derek Stingley. He didn't get to do anything in that game right there, but that's all right. We uh, we played a good game all around. Really happy to have gotten that win. It was actually a very similar game. The last guy was better for sure, but he played similarly. He had an excellent team. He ran spinner, linebacker blitz zero, overstorm brave, and we were finally able to win. My offense was not very potent. I got three field goals, but at least we won. So that's a great start. I'm really proud of the boys. I got to get Malik Willis out of there. I need Patrick Mahomes, actually. There's a few quarterbacks I can get, but Patrick Mahomes are Brady would be huge. Amon Ross got to get out of there. Let's get a new wide receiver, but we are on the right track. Proud of the boys today. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, good redemption game. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.